How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play. They call me the Toaster and let's get right into today's episode. You had given me some really good ideas on how to improve the garbage can that I have. So I'm actually going to put those changes in right now. So the first thing that was a really good idea was using a cauldron with lava. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a cauldron right now. Perfect. And then I need a bucket of lava, which I have lava down there. So I'm just going to go and grab it. And also I'm going to put a nice door here to get inside of like um, the garbage area. Because sometimes I'll need to come back here, you know, just in case I need to mess with the redstone or anything. So what I'm going to do is just get rid of this enchanting table area because I don't want it to be here anymore. Too bad that my axe just ran out, but I only have two more blocks left, so that's okay. Okay, and then I got to close this up. All right, perfect. So what I'm going to go is I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and I'm going to collect the lava in the bucket. Perfect. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the the dropper facing downwards. into the cauldron with lava so what i need i need to change the way it looks so i'm gonna have to break it and then point it downwards like this and then can you just place cauldrons in the air yeah but i'm still going to place a block underneath it but that's good to know And now the question is, can I put this lava bucket in there while it's... Yeah, that must have done it because the area lit up for sure. Okay, perfect. So I didn't... I This cuts down on a lot of space, actually. Look at this. So I'm just going to cover all this up down here that I'm not going to need anymore. I won't need these ugly granite blocks I mean diorite okay and then I just need to put back this piece of redstone boom and check that out now I don't have to worry about it burning anything else so thank you for the tip so let's just test this out real quick I'm going to stand over here to open it up. And then what could I throw away? The mangrove root. Okay. And let's see. Yeah, it doesn't look like the item fell out or it went anywhere else. Because um, if the item wouldn't have gone in the cauldron, it would have just like bounced off around here. So perfect. So I want to make a nice little entrance to this. I don't want to just put a regular door in here. I, I want it to be hidden because this is kind of like a maintenance area, you know? So what I wanted to do was to make like a sticky door piston that makes it really flush with the wall. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, six sticky pistons. So let's see how many I can make right now. Uh, I need blanks. Okay, with this, I can make 20. No, that's a bit too much. I'll do 10 because I might, I might need some in the future. And I need six of them to be sticky. So I'm going to need... I actually have so many slime balls. That's actually amazing. Maybe I should... You know what? These slime balls, you can make them into actually those slime blocks, right? It would be nine. So. Yeah, I can make quite a few of them. Maybe I should make a, an interesting project with them. 
But for the sticky pistons, I'm just going to make six. All right, perfect. I have a bit of redstone. Uh, let's see, I'm going to need some buttons for sure. I want to make a stone button. Oh no, actually, I think the stone buttons, yeah, they're just the regular stone. All right, so the stone button is, it's going to go here. I mean, it's kind of hidden when it's like that. You don't really see it. And then ultimately, ultimately what I need to happen is this, this piston is going to be here and it needs to extend, but then this whole thing needs to move out of the way. So this is how I have to position them. Ooh, but there is my staircase. Okay, no, this one is going to be kind of close. Maybe I could just do it here. Yeah, maybe this one would be a better one. Because if I just put two sticky pistons like this... Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the button right over here. Okay, let's see. Oh, breaking it actually. Whoops, I lost it. So the, the button would have to be right on this one. And actually, it needs to be on by default. Okay, so it needs to be like this. I need a redstone torch, but how can I how can I power both of them? I think if I do like this, yeah. And then when I click the button, okay. Oh, but you know what? Uh, this is kind of risky because it's fast and I could I could get suffocated over here. So to get around that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put stairs there. Um, but they would need to be stairs made out of the stone brick. Hold on a second. I need the, uh, I think I need the stone cutter. Where did I have it? I had it right over here. I'm going to put my work blocks right over there. In here, I need stairs. Oh, I didn't mean to make 28. But that's okay. I'll probably end up using it in the future. So I'm going to break these two. I'm going to make them both out of stairs. Watch this. So on the outside, they look exactly the same. But when you click the button, and if I stand here, I'm not going to get stuck in the wall. And I won't take suffocation damage by it closing on me. Perfect. Alright, so I would come in by here. I guess what I have to do is just clear out a little headroom right over here. Did I go one more? Is this... No, it looks like I can make three headroom. Okay. And can I come out one over here? Yeah. Oh no, these ones I couldn't break. Okay. But I could break this one right over here. Yeah, perfect. So then what I would do is just make a little floor. Oh, and where's my repeater? I don't know how I accidentally broke that, but whoops. So then to get back, how would I get back? I would need another button.
Okay, I ran out of stone bricks. That's fine, I could just make some more. Okay. So then I would have a wooden button right over here because the wood buttons last longer than the stone buttons in terms of time. But then what happens is that I need the redstone torch to be hooked up to both of those buttons. So the redstone torch has to be independent. Yeah, and I know exactly how I'm going to do it. Oh, hello. How you doing? No, you know what? He's a guest. He's a guest. If you don't fight me, I'm not going to fight you. What's up? He's welcome to stay. Okay. So the redstone torch. It would need to be like. Here. Yeah, and then I would put a piece of redstone here. So then the buttons. Would have to go like this. And this one has to go one up over. Okay. Okay. This is this turned into a complex redstone task. Okay. But if you love doing redstone, you know what you got to do. You got to hit that like button. You got to hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. All right. So what's happening here is that the button is going to go off. And it's going to trigger... Not what I wanted it to. Oh, because this one's powering it now. Oh, sorry, bud. Okay, okay. So it would have to be one over like this. I would have to put the redstone like this. Because basically the reds, that button was powering that um, piston, which is not good. So I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna break that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to put it on this one. Okay, that works. And then this button, you see it wouldn't make sense because the button is powering this piston. Yeah. Oh, but you know what? It would be nice to have a pressure plate here. Okay. But first, I'm actually stuck in here. <laughs> so I have to... Uh, I have to just fix it up really quick. Okay. Yeah, I'd have to break it off. And I'd have to put the button right here. And then I need to wire it up with redstone. And open sesame. Perfect. So I come out like this. Come in like this. All right. So that works really well. I guess I'm just going to make sure this room is nice. Yeah, I guess I'll leave this like this. Um, I'm going to close up this one. And I need to close up that one. All right, and perfect. Look at that. We have a we have a little secret way inside in case we ever need to come into the back of the garbage. An easy way to get out. And that's it. I think this is a great place to end this video. If you liked it, please leave me a like. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. And hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. All right. Have an awesome day. Toaster out.